same applies to bends. When you want to bend the string, you want really to reach the exact note that you're after and not go like flat or sharp, such as this. <laughs> Talking about bending, it's important to uh, locate where the actual strength of the finger is coming. It's not actually just the finger itself that, that is bending the string that is doing the bending, but it's also the support of the index and the thumb that helps this. So, if we have a bend like... It's the pressure of this part of the of the index and this part of the thumb which helps this finger and also the finger next to it can add a little bit of extra power behind the bend. These might seem like minor details but they actually play a big role in developing your voice and in expressing yourself so uh, I can't stress the importance of attention to vibrato. I'd recommend trying to play vibrato on each string separately just to see the different mechanics of the hand while you move the string. Like on 6th, 5th, 4th string. Another important aspect in creating a good vibrato is the role of the wrist. Well, actually, the fingers do the pulling of the string, like in this example. And while we do use the leverage point of the beginning of the index finger here, with the thumb doing its role, we do have to shake additionally our wrist or sort of roll it doing this sort of a motion. Of course um, this is more helpful uh, in, this, in like G string, B string and E string. While when we get to the lower strings, like the lower E string, there's, there's less space for the wrist roll. So actually it's more of a pulling downwards of, with the actual finger that's doing the... the uh, that's where the index part is playing a bigger role.